I've just put the end through the threader, the end of the threader there, gently pull it through and you've threaded up your, your peg with ease. So then, here we are. So you pop it back in the hole and you can see that we've got your warp yarn away from you. And then you finish pegging up every one, just in and out. Around the front of one peg, the back of another. There we are. Having done that row, then we come back in exactly the same fashion. It's very simple. Now I started and I've got this little tail end here and just to make sure that it doesn't come unravelled I'm just going to catch it up the side to tuck it in and make sure it doesn't come undone. Right now so you can see here we've reached the top of our peg and the next stage what you need to do now is to get the weaving from your peg down onto the warps because this is the way your piece of work will grow. Now to move the weaving down, it's very very simple, you simply hold your peg firmly, pull it up and as you can see the warp yarn, because it's attached to your peg here, will come all the way through. You put the peg back in the hole that it came out of, make sure, don't do what I've just done, which is hook it around that one there, make sure you put it back in the hole that it came out of and make sure that there isn't any yarn caught in the bottom so you do this to all the pegs pull it up and put it back in the hole you weave to the top of your peg and empty your peg down onto the warps now as you can see the weaving from here has moved down onto the warp yarns now the next thing to do is just take up the slack here by pulling on the bottom of the yarns here and just push it back up to the peg. This does two things really. It helps, it helps to keep the, your piece of work uh, looking quite neat and tidy and also it's a much clearer indication of actually how much weaving you've got because once it comes off the peg then you'll find that it actually it shrinks in size quite considerably. So we're now ready to simply start again exactly the same procedure. What we're getting near the end of our piece of work here, this is just about uh, long enough for us to make a small handbag. So I'm going to empty this final, uh, the final weaving from these pegs here and this is just a reminder, as you can see, this is now that little bit heavier. So it's at this stage, if you're making anything of any size, that you get extra tension on your warps because it's a little bit harder to pull it through. So it's just a reminder to make sure that your warp yarns are quite strong. You might find it easier to turn your piece of work around this way just so that you can get at it that much more easily, especially if it's, um, if it's an even longer piece of work. Right, well now we're going to say that this is our completed piece of work. That's as long as we want it. So we now come, we're at the stage now where we're going to, where we're going to finish yarns from two corresponding pegs. You have your two pegs here and you've got the two warp yarns here. And you're going to tie a nice, a neat, tidy knot at the end. All right, nice and tightly leaving enough for you to trim off to make a, a, a neat fringe at the end. So we've got these two, that's the next two corresponding to these two pegs. So again, here we are, neat knot. Right, we've tied our knots at the bottom of the warps here to create the fringe at the bottom, so that's going to be one finished edge. And it's at this stage that your work may be a little bit uneven in tension because you've been pulling the warp threads through uh, and it's sometimes a little bit more dense in places than others. And this is where I like to say that it is such a forgiving medium because it's at this stage you can actually adjust the whole of your piece of work if you want. You can tweak it, tighten it up, make it look nice and neat and orderly there. Simply pull, pull steadily and gently there until the knot is at the bottom of your piece of work, like so, there. 
and again you're going to do exactly the same with all the pegs there we are we've got a nice firm edge to the piece of work and here's your fringe and you can trim it off to make sure that it's nice and, and nice and even uh, when you come to finish it off finally and as you can see here we are so now you will have you secured the end at the beginning if you can remember by catching it up the side when you come to your finished piece of work you're going to have another loose end at the top here and it's at this stage that you take your threader again and simply or you can use a crochet hook whatever you feel most comfortable with and we're going to wriggle this up through here And again, to use the threader, just tuck it through the little bit of wire at the top. Through it comes. So there you are. You've secured your top edge there. Tags here and simply snip the yarn. Putting your pegs back in the base there. So we don't need the pegs anymore. They're all back safe and sound in the loom base there so here we are again we're going to take your two warp yarns remember your warp yarn runs through your entire piece of work and we're going to tie knots at the top end now to correspond with those down at the bottom so here we are finished piece of work and we're going to trim the fringes There we are, and the same this side. You can put some lining inside, which just gives it a nicer finish. But all it is, it's simply your piece of rectangular weaving that we've got here, folded over like so and the handles which I do to make to finish off the handbags we make on our uh, weaving sticks.